Karate and boxing are both popular stand-up combat sports that focus on striking techniques. While they have similarities, they also have distinct differences in terms of techniques, rules, and training methods. Let's explore the key aspects of each martial art. 1. Techniques Karate Karate is a traditional martial art that originated in Okinawa, Japan. It emphasizes a wide range of striking techniques, including punches, kicks, knee strikes, elbow strikes, and open hand techniques. Karatekas also learn various blocks, evasions, and joint locks. Boxing Boxing is a combat sport that focuses on punches, footwork, and head movement. Boxers primarily use their fists to throw jabs, hooks, uppercuts, and crosses. Defensive techniques such as slipping, ducking, and parrying are also essential in boxing. 2. Rules Karate Karate competitions have different rule sets depending on the organization and style. Points are awarded for clean strikes to specific target areas, such as the head or body. Some styles also allow sweeps and takedowns. Karatekas often wear protective gear during sparring matches. Boxing Boxing matches typically take place in a ring, with rounds of a fixed duration. Points are awarded for landing clean punches on the opponent's head or upper body. Boxers aim to score knockouts or accumulate more points than their opponents. Techniques such as grappling, kicking, or striking with any body part other than the fists are not allowed. 3. Training Methods Karate Karate training focuses on developing power, speed, flexibility, and discipline. It involves practicing katas, prearranged sequences of moves, sparring, and conditioning exercises. Karatekas also emphasize mental aspects such as focus and breathing techniques. Boxing. Boxing training aims to improve endurance, strength, speed, and reflexes. Boxers engage in various drills, including shadow boxing, bag work, pad work, and sparring. Conditioning exercises, such as skipping rope and running, are also common in boxing training. In a hypothetical stand-up combat clash between a karateka and a boxer, several factors would come into play. The boxer's specialization in punching techniques and head movement could provide an advantage in terms of boxing-specific skills. However, the karateka's diverse range of strikes, including kicks and knee strikes, could offer more versatility. It's worth noting that individual skill, experience, strategy, and physical attributes of the competitors would significantly influence the outcome of such a clash. Ultimately, the effectiveness of either martial art depends on the practitioner's proficiency, training, and adaptability to different fighting scenarios.